Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good time zone. Wherever you are, hope you're having a lovely time. So we're back in World of Warships. I know yesterday I had said that I might play some Pokemon. However, uh, work contacted me, and I have to go in not too uh, long from now, actually. So I've got about, well, I guess a little over an hour and a half before I've got to leave. And I decided that in Pokemon, I couldn't really probably get the boss fight done in, realistically in that amount of time. So I'll schedule it for next week, probably Tuesday morning. I'll see about putting it there. In the meantime, I thought maybe we could get a few things done in World of Ships. And then we'll be back again later this evening at 5 p.m., probably for Yu-Gi-Oh! So that's the main announcement, and I just changed the title so people would know it's going to be a little bit shorter stream than average. Uh, tomorrow will be Discord night. That's still on, of course. So we'll have our hangout in the Discord where we watch cartoons and movies and just generally hang out. That's tomorrow night. It starts at about 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, between eight, 7 and 8. I normally start running a movie around 7 p.m. And then we resume watching Yu-Gi-Oh! or the likes around 8 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And other than that, I don't stream on Saturdays. That's my day off. So there'll be no streams until probably Sunday evening at 7 p.m., which will be Dole with Viewers, Yu-Gi-Oh! Besides that, let me get the scene switched over. Ah, and as you can see in the background, I'm inside of the auction event that's only going to go on for a few days, so I have decided to go ahead. I picked up a few more doubloons, and I've decided to go ahead and place a bid on Alice Thompson here. Starting bids at 2000 I know that it's not going to be anywhere near that. Because guises tend to go for about 5000 And that's fine. To me, it would be worth it if I could get it. So I'm going to put it a little over 5000 and see if I'm lucky. If not, you get your doubloons back and I can buy a captain or one of the guises in the shop. But I do like this Alice Thompson because supposedly they're usable on every nation. So I would like to see if I can't get to them. Let's put in, how about 5,150? Just in case everybody else was thinking the same thing and bid 5,000. Ah, there we go. Matt will place my bid and we'll see if we get it. I'll let everybody know in a few days. I, I'm not gonna bid on this. It's a ridiculous starting bid for a tier seven destroyer. Uh, that That's, I have no idea what they were thinking, making it that high as the starting bid. I mean, wow. You can just buy the ship for that. And it's supposed to come out for a campaign ship eventually, and you could buy the campaign out for 20000 so there's no reason to even look at that. Bureau-wise, we're doing well. Uh, do I want to start with a brawl or AI? Hmm. I think I'll start with an AI battle. Why not? I've been trying to work up uh, one of the destroyers, not destroyers, sorry. Aircraft carriers, there it is. I'm having a lot of fun with this one, and I've been slowly trying to build up the XP to get to the next one. It seems the British aircraft carriers are probably my favorite due to the way the bombs work. That widespread that they have is very fun. I might do a little bit more brawl though, just because for the next couple days we have that going. I did look on Twitter, by the way. Uh, people are starting to realize it's all on their Twitter page. The T22 is broken with Blue Fury. <laughs> so if Wargaming didn't know about how broken it was, they do now because a bunch of people were complaining about it. But that's fine, you know? It's it's an event that lasts like two days, and I'm pretty sure they were using this as a test bed. A lot of what Wargaming does, uh, I'm, I'm just guessing mostly, I, it's not like I've talked to them or anything, but from what I've seen in my three years of playing the game, is Wargaming tends to like to use the events as a testing platform for different features that they might add to the game. And it's possible they were stress testing something with animations on the screen, and they needed those torpedoes everywhere. 
Hello, Mr. Kiatsu and Viv. How are you doing? I hope well. I really like the way these bombers fly. I'd like it if the American bombers flew this low, but they didn't traditionally fly that low, so they don't in the game. At least not on the uh, aircraft carriers I've played. Let us see. What is an A? I figured their aircraft carrier is probably right in front of me, but I decided to go into A real quick. I saw that they are very weakly supported on this side, so I will come over here and scout for them real quick just to see if this side is also low. It is. And I found my target, the uh, V-170. Don't necessarily need to destroy it, I just need to keep it spotted for a moment. I did hit it. That's fine by me. It's probably the only hit I'll get. But I just wanted to show everybody where it was. Uh, I think they've got it. Maybe? Can you all finish it off? Do I have to? Oh, that was close. I thought it was really going to hit it and take it out. Can I get one last bomb to run in, maybe? Oh, even set a fire, so that was a bonus. <laughs> oh no, I was spotted. Oh, uh, I was really hoping I could make to the other side there. Alright, we'll go straight up through. We're playing an AI battle, so it's not too bad. Again, I do things in AI battles that I would not probably do in a standard game mode. <laughs> uh, oh geez, it's going quick. That might be the only uh, damage I get. Uh, no, maybe we can take out this really pokey uh, cruiser that's just sitting there. Is he going to bite the dust on a torpedo? Maybe. Oh, yep. I just can't get to anything before it goes down. This is the thing I don't like about the British carrier. Oh my gosh, their torpedo bombers are so slow. Do 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 do. Ah, get that one right. But it hit the torpedo bulge, so that's not going to do any damage. Been better up front or towards the rear of the ship. It's typically why I like to cut in diagonally. I'm trying to go for some other part of the ship that's not the torpedo bulge. Aha, it did hit it and get an incapacitation at least. Oh, that didn't do well. He was turning away, and that's why. I am getting secondary hits on it. Yay! <laughs> I'll get a little damage. Uh... Fires are good. I was going to keep on that other ship, but the uh, Wyoming's attacking me, so I'm trying to get it as much as possible. Oh, I don't think the little swordfish can make another run. Nah. Torpedoes again. Ooh. I got another fire, and he's trying to take our cap. No, sir, you cannot have that cap. The Royal Majesty's Navy says no.
Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it did take it out. Okay, from fire. <laughs> I was like, come on. Give that to me. <laughs> I didn't get any one. AI battle early where my whole team got dropped in a couple minutes. Uh, it can happen. <laughs> Kiatsu, wait until you uh, try to play an AI battle with a legendary ship. And I know, if you've played this game, you're probably thinking, why would you play an AI battle with a legendary ship? Yes, it's expensive, but most people are so frustrated with how hard it is to play the AI ships to get the dailies done for them. They just play AI battles and take the uh, credit loss. I'm one of them. <laughs> Autopilot mode enabled. But yeah, even sometimes at lower tiers, if the whole room's a bunch of newer players and they're experimenting with uh, newer captains, they can get <laughs> overwhelmed by the AI. Most of the time you'll have at least two, maybe three players who are pretty good and they'll take out most of the enemy team before they even have a chance to uh, do much. I can tell you if you're playing AI battles, just get rid of the destroyer and typically everything else works out. Hey, I hit it. More than I thought I could do. Oh, it's a Hermes as well. Yep, we're fighting the exact same thing. That cruiser will probably beat me to it. I'm not really worried about how well I do in this. I I would just like to get some extra XP on it. And this was just kind of an opening battle. I might do one or two brawls. As I stated at the beginning of the stream, I sadly don't have a whole lot of time today. I thought I'd have more time. But it's that time of year at work. Everything is uh, crazy. Direct hit. Can I get another one? I doubt it. Half my uh, team is gone, right? Eh, they, I don't think it has that great a AA, though. He does have a fighter up, though. Let's see. One more. I just want one more. Right? Oh, they just weren't readied up enough. If the Dane gets close to it, it's game over, because the Dane has really good torpedoes. Mr. Kiatsu knows this. <laughs> it's a rush. Who can get their torpedo down first? Probably the Dane. <laughs> These things are so slow. I did get it. <laughs> All right. That was a good start to the day. Get a daily win on this. Every day you get bonus XP, so I'm hoping eventually I'll just get through it that way. Ah, now why don't we go over here to brawl for a moment just to relax? I say relax, I mean I'm joking because it's like trying to fight an entire map full of torpedoes. Uh, we're still looking for all of the uh, treasure keys as well. I'm doing pretty good with that. I'm almost done with the second sheet. Sadly, probably won't get the third sheet done. Anybody else wants to play, there is still, I think, two days left. So you could potentially get at least some of the treasure chests from the first sheet. And if you put doubloons in, you could finish it, but I don't recommend that. <laughs> but that is, uh, that's the site where you go and register for the little treasure hunt that we've been on all week. Uh, besides not having enough time to do the Pokemon boss fight, the other deciding factor why I decided not to stream Pokemon today was that this event's going on and I'd like to put as much time into this as I can. And with the crazy schedule I run, 
I really don't get time to play video games, except when I'm on stream. So if I don't actually get to do it here, I probably wouldn't finish any of the events. Ah, uh, this crazy map again. Let's see if I can trick anyone. <laughs> they thought I was going to go the whole way around the island. I did not. Where's this one going? I really hope that this be falls for this. Problem solved, sir. Torpedoes to port. Maybe. I did I did I get him with one? I think I did. Oh, they knocked out one of our players already. Oh, that was quick. And that little Vispy is hard to hit. Should have known. Engine boost deactivated. Almost got him. He almost drove right into them. And the Jaguar still got full health. I took one hit, I believe. The enemy is about to win. Ah, there comes the Vispy again. Let's see. Uh, where has he got the fire? Oh, I'm glad I took Unstoppable, by the way. That's a very good uh, trait to take when you're doing stuff like this. Get better turning. E Engine boost. I would like to go a little faster. just me and the other player. We both have a cap. Uh, this bee's back up over here. You know what? The Minikaze's been real cautious. I probably have a better chance of getting him than I do the other. I've been using the uh, smoke screen in this, by the way, just to confuse the enemy where the torpedoes are coming. It's a lot harder to detect torpedoes fired into a smoke screen. I keep hoping they'll uh, go into the smoke screen. Save me the trouble. Oh, I got him a couple times. He's not got full health anymore. Visby, come on, I can get the Visby. I need to help my friend over there get the Visby, actually, because that thing's annoying. Ow. Was that the Minikaze that got me? Probably. Set of torpedoes coming. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. 
Uh, this beast still alive, isn't it? I swear he just will not go down. Oh no. Oh no. Ow. Uh, the Jaguar. Uh oh, he's coming in for a point blank. Probably gonna get me here. Oh no! <laughs> I drove right into that one. I tried to turn and power slide out of it. Uh. I'm having more fun trying to ram everybody rather than torpedoes. My uh, only destroyer is the Farragut, and the torpedoes aren't very good. No, we learned that the, the Farragut was good at catching up to other uh, ships. Not great with the torpedoes. Oh no, we lost. Here, I'll play the Farragut so everybody can see this, the difference in these ship styles. The ones that do better are the ones with multiple torpedo launchers. I could totally see just trying to ram them. I don't think I'll get successful at ramming one, but... Yeah, so this is one of the faster uh, destroyers that the Americans have, so... It is good at catching up to the others, and the only luck I've seemed to have with this one <laughs> is point blank firing the torpedoes, right? You're right up next to them. I also have the Pan Asian Tier 4 destroyer, but that's not included in the event for some reason. Oh, thank goodness they took it out. Uh, that's because Mr. Kiyatsu has deep water torpedoes, and they're useless against destroyers. There would be a lot of angry people piloting that and firing torpedoes and wondering why nothing got hit. <laughs> it's a good thing they took those out, actually. <laughs> oh no, there's a T-22. Well, we know what the T-22 is going to do. Actually, I'm shocked. There's not like a flood of torpedoes coming in. All right, they fire in a V. Yep, there it is. Uh, I might not be able to avoid this one. I did, just barely. Torpedoes to port. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Torpedoes to port. I'm gonna see if I can't circle around this guy and get, cause his torpedo launcher has to turn. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work, but we're gonna try. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes to starboard. He's definitely turned his launcher by now, though. Torpedoes oh no! Ahead. No, I'm done. I am gonna. Mmm. Ow. Torpedoes dead ahead. Torpedoes to port. Smoke generator started. I was trying to take out the uh, V-22 because I know how much of a menace they are because I've played one. <laughs> it did not work, though. Engine boost deactivated. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes to starboard. Now there's smoke everywhere. Smoke screen set. All right. We are ahead a little bit. Oh, geez, where are those coming from? Uh, Mr. T-22, where are you? Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes, direct front. Did I get the torpedoes off, at least? Hit him! Get him! Oh, I really thought those were going to get him. Yeah, the Farragut's torpedoes just take too long to reload. <laughs> I don't like that one. 
you can't have as much fun with it, and it's not very competitive versus the uh, T-22, which just can put torpedoes out every half second. Oops, I did not know that. Well then. <laughs> yeah, they're called deep sea torpedoes, Mr. Kiatsu. They work wonders on aircraft carriers and battleships, some of the cruisers. I think most of the cruisers, actually, in this game. But they don't do anything to destroyers who sit too high in the water to get hit by them. So the torpedoes just go right underneath the uh, ship. Sadly, in this game, I was just going to try, but this game doesn't give you the camera angle to look under the water. Or I'd show you just how high up the uh, destroyers sit. As you can see, this thing fires every couple seconds, uh, so it's a better... ...at this match than any of the others so far. Uh, the Ahotnik is a close second. I prefer the Ahotnik just because of its ability to take so many hits. <laughs> Oh, there are whole teams there. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes to starboard. Oh, I'm definitely gonna hit one. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes to starboard. Ah, uh, they've already got one of our team. Watch this. <laughs> I really hope he's still in his smoke. Engine boost deactivated. Torpedo, dead ahead. I'm just gonna spam torpedoes everywhere. I have to admit, he survived all those torpedoes in the uh, smoke screen. I'm kind of shocked. Let's try these guys. Maybe they're not paying attention. Look <laughs> how many torpedoes. Oh, I'm doing is being annoying. Oh, I'm the last one out though. I got one of them. Uh, that was the ferret. Hit. Uh, 
I've got enough torpedoes here to sink, uh, I don't know, a nation? Maybe I don't know. This is so like cruel. Smoke screen set. I just can't get any caps. They're gonna win by caps unless I can get their uh Where's that one going? That's the problem. They're not very long-range torpedoes. Where's that other one? I got him, he's over here. a good trick. Mm, yeah, he's gonna dodge those, I think. Nope, got him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I didn't actually think I'd do that. I only had 35 seconds left. They're also not hard to avoid. If you dodge the first set, you could just follow the line. Yes. That's actually with most torpedoes. Um, once you've dodged one, you can kind of line your ship up to dodge the rest. Uh, with the amount that is being fired out of the T-22. If you're in close proximity, you'll have a hard time dodging them. The problem with the T-22 is actually how the missiles, uh, the torpedoes come out in a fan. And so, like you said, they all follow one straight path unless you stagger them. But where would be the fun in using strategy in a match that obviously doesn't have any? Outside of taking the caps, if you can pressure the team into trying to go back and forth to the caps, they'll not pay attention to the uh, torpedoes. I'm going to go back to the hotnik so I don't have to keep pulling the trigger. <laughs> but every once in a while. Uh, let's see if we can't at least get A. No. They're already in A. Smoke generator started. On the horizon. And there's a T-22. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes dead ahead. Smoke screen set. 
I was just gonna say, I probably got him at least once, maybe twice. I might get him here. This one's uh, playing differently. He's not using the uh, captain. That's what it is. Alright, that's one of the T-22s in lockdown. Yeah, if you don't have the captain, don't play the T-22. Because it's just going to actually fire fairly sluggish. Suki. He's my target because I only need one torpedo to get him. I think. Dead ahead. Engine boost deactivated. That was not a good time for engine boost to run out. I needed it a little bit longer. Alright, they lost me, uh, but they know I'm kind of parked here. Smoke screen set. But I know that the uh, Mutsuki is just going to ride in a circle, probably till they beach. Last torpedo I launched came really close. Eh, close doesn't cut it though. I'm the last one again. Oh, jeez. I can't do anything because they've got the caps and they've surrounded me. Yeah, I was just like, it's a matter of time before one of them gets close enough. I did pretty good though for being all by myself. I had two of them to fight. Ram them. Yeah, I had a chance to ram that one, Mr. Kyatsu, but I was the last person alive. <laughs> Ramming's not bad if you're not the only one on the team. The only time that that's applicable is if you're ahead on points. And so if you see your team's ahead on points and it's you versus another ship and you know that you can ram the enemy to take them out, uh, that's one way to win because there's no draw. It goes by who had the most points at the end of the match. The problem is uh, how many points do you get for sinking the ship that you're going after. So you have to make sure you still have a fairly good lead in points. And in that moment, it's still a better idea to just run and hide. Enemy force detected. 
We need to get a cap in quickly. I don't want to get into that same issue that we were in before. Uh, they're going to prevent me from using my uh, torpedoes because they're on that side. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Uh, Torpedoes to starboard. Dodged one set. Dodged the other, maybe. Direct front. Torpedoes astern. Oh, wow. That's why it's a T-22, isn't it? No, Minikaze did that. Oh, that's unfair. I That should have gone under the uh, bow line. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Torpedoes to port. Oh, Minikaze's proving to be as much a pain in the butt as the other. Ah, I got the Acosta at least. Oh, just fired point blank and this guy's beached. Yeah, that was a quick win for that one. Oh, that's fine by me. I, I'm not really playing for victories, although we have had a string of losses, haven't we? So the Minikaze, uh, they're firing torpedoes almost as fast as somebody figuring out a combination of captains over there. You know what? I think they do have a captain with mosquito bites. It might have been one of the Halloween characters. Is there a... No, Mutsuki. Two T-22s. Main turret blown up. Starts. Main turret blown All I know is I need to get out of the way of these guys so that I can fire torpedoes without hitting my allies constantly. Good thing there's no ally damage. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Please don't go the same way as me. That's, that's what's happening. You all keep going the exact same direction. Yeah, and then cuts in front of you because I have no idea why. The ship can almost fire from the front. There's no real reason to fire off the side. I'm going to fire torpedoes the whole way up. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes to port. Hull breach. We're taking on water quickly. Torpedoes, get ahead. Torpedoes to port. Oh, wow. Never mind. All of them targeted me, so I wasn't able to get enough uh, damage in there. Might get him here. Ah, oh, no. It didn't do enough. Oh, we're going to lose again because there's two of them. Look at the stream of torpedoes. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, a mode. If you have the game, though, I do recommend trying this mode at least once. You might get frustrated, but it's fun to just see how many torpedoes you can hit someone with. Oof. Ah, oh, the, the uh, what you call it? The Japanese one's doing really well today. I think that's a loss. That's fine. I might go into standard for a little bit. I just wanted to goof off here. Again, there this event's only going through the weekend. It's even funnier to use yourself as a torpedo. <laughs> I like that you told me, Mr. Gyatsu, in the Discord, that you rammed somebody in and were still alive, so you were able to go ram somebody again. So I was like, wow. Because I always say, you know, you've always got one torpedo left, and that's you. But you had two torpedoes left, it appears. Engine boost 
I wonder if they'll do one of these, though, where you have your guns and no torpedoes. Then the Ahotnik would really excel at that. Am I getting A? Ah, uh, yeah, we're getting A. Good, good, good. I may ram this guy, actually. Yeah, is a Farragut? Maybe I'll just ram him. The Farragut's out of torpedoes after this. I got one hit on that guy. He's trying to get torpedoes locked. Ah, dodge those neatly. Torpedoes to port. The enemy is about to win. Oh, we don't have any caps. It happened again. No, why do people keep coming in? No, no, no. Dude, seriously. Oh my gosh. The players who keep doing this are so annoying. Don't get in the way. to ram a Mr. Kiatsu, so it wouldn't let me. Got to stop them from getting points. Torpedoes, direct front. Battle ends in five minutes. Where is uh, the other guy? The Gramatsky. Smoke screen set. Torpedoes dead ahead. Torpedoes direct front. Gotcha. All right, that's one of them going. Ah, here we go, Kiyatsu. I'll get a chance to ram. Maybe. No. Hold below the water line. We're flooding quickly. Ah, I'm stuck now. I shouldn't have tried to ram. I'm pulling an Austin Powers here. I can't move but one direction. Uh, no, 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 no. Hold below the water line. We're flooding quickly. Look screen set. Engine boost deactivated. 
I'm trying as best as I can to get out of this little area. Uh, there we go. I mean, we got one of them down, but we can't get A. Uh, I tried to ram Mr. Kiatsu. I'm not as good at it as you. It seems you're going to be uh, the person that we turn to for ramming knowledge. Let's see. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Oh, jeez. We'll go back in a... We do need to get this cap secured. Where is the uh, last guy? Oh, jeez, it's the Farragut. He fell for that, though. I didn't realize he was even in the match still. <laughs> I thought it was the other... That's it. I I don't have any more hit points after that. Where did those come from? They've only got one guy left. He must have really fired those in advance. Oh well, we're gonna win. Finally, maybe get a victory here. Yeah, there we go. Finally got a victory. I don't know. I'm enjoying Brawl right now. It's fun. You know what? I didn't even think. What are the stat page looks like for that? I'm curious. Haven't really been paying attention to those. I just look at that and I keep forgetting. You can actually see how many torpedoes you dropped. Or at least hit. Yeah, I only got seven out of all the torpedoes. <laughs> uh, made good money, though. And that's kind of what I'm doing today. I'm just farming some money because later tonight I probably won't have time uh, to do any farming on this game. I need to arrange a time when Mr. Kiatsu and I can stream some more together because I want to do the carriers again. That was fun. Escorting your carrier around, that's some of the most fun I've had in a long time. Do do. Oh, I should have picked the T-22 again. I wanted to flood the ocean with fish. Main turret blown up. General quarters. Main turret blown up. I love that they say main turret blown up. Main turret blown up. I know, I get it. It is a good point, though. Some people don't realize you can actually have your equipment permanently destroyed in a match, including your torpedo launchers and secondaries and your AA. Well, yeah, I knew somebody would be out here. Torpedoes dead ahead. 
stealthy kamikaze torpedoes. torpedoes to Still got him though, a couple times. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes to port. I have a new target though, the Vispy. You know, the Vispy, I need to look that up. This thing has been giving me a runaround. Quickly. Problem solved, sir. Torpedoes dead ahead. Smoke general torpedoes dead ahead. Ah, uh, we got one of them down. Yeah, the Vispy just dodged everything. I think it's its agility. It just has so much turning maneuvering that it gets away with what it's doing. Smoke screen set. Uh, this Minikaze is turning all the way around. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes to starboard. Engine boost deactivated. Torpedoes to starboard. I am capturing this Torpedoes area, right? Yeah. Battle ends in five minutes. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes dead ahead. Gotcha. There we go. There's another one gone. Enemy destroyer founder. The Ahotnik's power, though, isn't how many torpedoes it can fire, it's its health. <laughs> 12,000, but you have really good damage mitigation. I've always noticed that, even though it's on paper, it doesn't look like it should be as good as it is. You tend to take less damage, it just feels like, than most of the other ships. I was just going to say he can't dodge from both sides. He was paying attention to the one and then just went. Pew. Got two million right now. Four to go for the next carrier. Can't decide if I want to do more of the ticket uh, for shots at the chests. Oh, that is a tough decision. Well, after work today, I'd love to. I could help you farm or I'd like to help you farm. It's a shame I can't just give you credits because I'd give you half of what I have just so that you could get through your carrier line. That's still something I would have liked to have seen in the game is if you could actually give credits to people or gift it. Like even if it was just once a week to limit people spamming it. I've made that recommendation before to them, you know, like an option where we could donate gold or silver to someone. And you just make it once a week. Like a limited thing you can only do once a week. I get they couldn't do it all the time because if they allowed it all the time, uh, you'd have... We used to call them gill sellers in... Final Fantasy XI, but it was people who tried to profit off selling real currency in the game. That's why a lot of games don't even do that anymore. Because uh, people will take advantage of it.
<laughs> Just a wall of torpedoes. Alright, who's gonna get blown up first? Someone's going down, right? Yeah, someone's gonna go down. Torpedoes, dead ahead. We're hold below the water line. We're flooding quickly. Problem solved, sir. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes to start. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes astern. Torpedoes to starboard. Not one. Who did I get? The Jaguar? Was it another V-22? I hope so. That's broadcasting the, the guy's location. There's fish over there. I'm definitely going to hit one of those, two of those three. Ah. I'm right in his lane, aren't I? I did hit him, though. down to me again. No, 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 no. Got him. Now I need to get out of the way of those torpedoes very quickly. The other one's back there in that corner somewhere. Got him. <laughs> you just can't. No one can hide from the torpedoes. And Brawl pays out pretty well, so I should actually make it today. Yeah, look at the, uh, let's see, 344,000 credits. And the fun thing is, that's not even, yeah, that's not even a premium ship. Here, let's use a premium ship. We'll see how much we get with the Kamikaze. I mean, basically, all I'm doing today is just trying to mine up some extra credits myself. 
It looks like I have a lot of money, but I don't because I'm saving for a couple of the lines that will be released in the future, so... There's a few ships I need to upgrade. One of the lines is going to take like 20 million to get through, and another one hasn't released yet. Make sure you're taking caps, Mr. Kyatsu. The game rewards you heavily for taking caps. And I think they're actually using the same system in this for rewarding XP. That's, which is probably... Oh, please, mister, go somewhere, anywhere, but right next to me. I need to be able to maneuver. I'm gonna say this ship is not like the most maneuverable and it has really low hit points. I'm gonna hit that. I knew that was gonna happen. We're full below the water line. We're flooding quickly. Problem solved, sir. So I'm gonna try to capture some caps and just stay alive, although I just lost most of my hit points. Oh. No, capture. I want to capture the point. I'm not going to get any XP otherwise. And we're trying to see how much uh, money we can get with the premium versus the other. It's T-22. I haven't hit anyone with torpedoes, so probably not going to get any XP unless I just take caps. Yeah, the Kamikaze is sorely outplaced in this. Although, look, there's other players using it. Engine boost deactivated. Aha! Assisted in a capture, which is good, because I'm probably not going to get any other XP. Whoa! Oh yeah, that's right, there is a Kamikaze back here. This kamikaze player is... What is he doing? Going way out? No, he's just trying to make sure his torpedoes have some spread to them. <gasps> Did I get a hit? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It fell short of hitting him. Oh, maybe I should just ram him just so I can get some XP. Problem solved, sir.
I'm going to try and ram him, Mr. Kyatsu. Make you proud, maybe. He's he's all over the place, though. Nah, we won by battle points. I, I won't be able to get any money from this. Oops. Nah. I was going to see how much money we earned. Uh, it'd be nice if they actually showed you the money instead of the... Uh, yeah, C78,000. I still made money because I captured two caps. And as you can see, you get more money for the caps than anything. Eh, the Ahotnik earns more money for me because at least I get some torpedo hits. Do, do, do. Yeah, the T-22 is fun for its crazy ability to put out so many torpedoes per minute, but I think the Ahotnik is still my favorite for this event. At the end of it, I guess that is, because I always like the Ahotnik. It's just a very situational ship in normal PvP, so... In this event, it kind of has a neat little place. Oh no, see, why do people just have to travel right next to you? Engine boost activated. I mean, in reality, you want to break up a little bit? Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes, direct front. We're hold below the waterline. We're flooding quickly. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Torpedoes to port. Ah, I'm not going to be able to compete with Torpedoes that, though. Astern. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes, astern. Torpedoes to starboard. Hull breach. Torpedoes He's got me port. targeted. Nothing I could do. Ah, I couldn't do anything in that. Uh, the T-22, if it can get close enough. Oh, it just spun so many torpedoes. Mm. I like the Ahotnik, too, and I got a hit right at the beginning. Just wasn't enough damage. That's okay. Couple more rounds of this, and then I want to go over, probably try, like, one or two dailies. Oh, sadly, like I said, I don't have much time this morning. But later this evening, I should have plenty of time. We'll probably do some Yu-Gi-Oh! Maybe I'll do ships. I don't know. Depends on how many people we can get to do some things. You'll really enjoy Mr. Kiatsu, the uh, Tier 5 carrier, when you get it. It has more options available to it. Uh, for example, it has... Uh, you could call Fighter down to help your allies. Oh, will you be available for both? That's neat. Yeah, we might do some... Maybe we'll do Yu-Gi-Oh! My only, my only issue, and why I've not been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! as much, is because the dual rooms are so messed up, it's kind of annoying. Oh, I didn't get any of them. I was really hoping I'd hit somebody with that initial opening. Torpedoes, dead ahead. 
torpedoes to port. Torpedoes to starboard. There we go. Now I'll get somebody right. No, probably not. Got one of them though. That'll tie the score up a little bit. Torpedoes, direct front. Battle ends in five minutes. Ah, Farragut's coming after me. Enemy destroyer foundered. <laughs> Just spraying torpedoes wherever I will, please. I see this game was rigged from the start. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> Hello, gamer. How are you doing? <laughs> We're up to more shenanigans in uh, Brawl. I don't have a lot of time to stream today, so... I put on World of Warships to earn some credits, and guess what? The T-22's out-earning my uh, premium ships, so... I just decided to stay in Brawl and get credits. But we'll be back later tonight, 5 p.m., uh, Eastern. Thankfully, since I'm going to get the work out of the way, hopefully I'll have tonight to play some World of Ships and Cards. And we'll play with viewers. I would have done this with any viewers. Oh, you're still in Somni Files. Have you made progress in the game? Main turret blown auction stations. I hope you're enjoying your time in that. Engine boost activated. 12 hours still haven't finished the game oh is it a is it a longer game or, or i mean shorter rather when you said 12 hours it made me think maybe it's a not too long a video game All right, that should be a good enough wave of torpedoes. I just want to see if anybody gets flushed out by that. 
I'll try not to break the game. Maybe still break the game. I don't know. Actually, their whole team's here. Might as well flood that zone. Smoke generator started. You can eat all those torpedoes. I am gonna go... Uh, Podvotsky is over here. He'll probably turn around and go the other way. Engine boost deactivated. Oh my gosh, it's so many torpedoes. Listen to the torpedoes hitting the beach. I just, um, yeah, I just took out that beach. We have a cap, right? No, we do. This game is just, uh, it, uh, it's so broken at this point. It's fine though. I mean, this is a game mode. It's supposed to be a little broken. Did I just chase him all the way to the end of the map? I did. Off into the ocean. Look how far the torpedoes go outside the bounds of the game. Oh, we're going to win on points. I won't get any more. Oh, well. Unless they come in here and cap the uh, thing. We're not going to get any more points, it seems.
Oh, I wanted to get that last one. Uh, we won on points. Uh, just couldn't do it. I started two days ago, and so I'm kind of invested. Well, I'm glad that you're having fun with that, friend. Oh, look, I'm already up to 47.4 mil. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's go into a standard battle. <laughs> I need to slow down for a moment. We'll do one of these, and then I'm probably going to have to head out. Like I said, sadly, I've got to go into work early. I didn't anticipate on that, but things happen. There were some issues with the invoice, so I'm going to go and take care of those. Maybe I can have a decent win, and that'll get me all the points I need for the daily event. It's okay. It's a Friday. It's the end of the week. It's a nice time to just relax, play some games. I actually do find World of Ship fairly relaxing. I know some people don't, but I do. Mainly, that's why I play... Uh, oh, good, they're still on. That's why I like to play AI battles, because it's a little bit more fun to just goof off against the robots. Boost activated. Oh, jeez, I'm already located. Hmm. So we don't have quite the torpedo mess that we had last time, but, uh... Uh, can I slip into... I'm located, that's radio location, but it does give them the general idea of where I'm at. So until I could figure out what I'm up against, I'd like to park inside of the, uh little sign, little area, and try to take it. It's a Benson, and a Friesland, and a Z-23. Ooh, Z-23 has sonar. It's probably the Friesland, I'm thinking. There's definitely somebody in this ring. The center looks like it might be... We might be able to take it. Back to being a sneaky... Uh, destroyer. Or trying to be. This one's also contested, so we can't do anything with it. And now the center is also contested. So this team is taking all the spots. Hmm. One of the destroyers is over there. Uh, Cleveland. Oh, good thing we did not rush ahead. The Cleveland has really good radar. Let the battleships finish him. Engine boost deactivated. One of the destroyers is over there. I see a smoke screen. We did get the center. Good. That means points per minute. Uh, I didn't even get to detect anything. I haven't gotten any XP. This map is still relatively new to me. Still figuring it out. Especially the uh, game mode itself with the rings. And a vanguard's parked in the corner. Radio located. Again, that might actually be the uh, Cleveland. Unless, no, there's probably a destroyer right over here. Oh, look, the Fresno.
I just got spotted on the other side by their whole team, didn't I? Ow, that hurt. Smoke screen set. My torpedoes don't do that much damage. I doubt I could sink the Vanguard. I'm just going to bide my time here and annoy them. They're winning, actually, I think. No, they did take down the uh, 22. That's nice. The Friesland is going to attempt to come this way. I already knew that. Hey, I did get a hit on the aisle. Oh, who spotted me? Ah, uh, that one. Problem solved, sir. I can't steer anymore. Not until I can get that back and running. Well, if I'm going to go down. Engine boost activated. Wouldn't mind getting this uh, camping... Iowa out of the way. Nope. He got me. <laughs> uh, do I hit him with a torpedo at least on my way out? Probably, maybe. Yeah. That'll teach him, right? No, not really. It didn't do hardly anything to him. I was hoping to get just a little closer. Oh, wait. It did make him flood. That means he doesn't have his damage control probably on. I'll get a little bit more XP. He'll outheal it. But... Oh, wait a minute. Did my team actually take this corner? Because if they did, that's nice. I'm still getting... Oh, I guess it was worth it, because I went from not having any XP at all to almost 50,000 damage. Yeah, there we go. I'm flooding him. He must have a double flood going. You can see the damage in the corner was just rolling up. That's good, though. I mean, it means I'll end that match and I'll get damage. And part of what we're doing in the uh, daily event is to get damage. All right. So I am sorry I'll have to end... Typically, we'd go a little longer. I'd take a break, but instead of taking the break, we're going to go see my friend Hysteric Moon, I think, if they're still running. Apologies, it's a short stream today. Like I said, I have to get off to work, so I will be back later this evening at 5 p.m. Eastern. For now, we'll go see Hysteric Moon and park there for the afternoon. Thank you all for joining me. Sorry, like I said, it was just a quick goof-off session. I'll be back again. We'll play cards and ships later this evening. Uh, raid warning. Yeah, I like Hysteric Moon. Every now and then there is cursing on the channel, so I will put up the raid warning for that. There you go. But they're just playing a retro title. It's actually a PS2 classic. It's a really good game. If you've never seen it before, it's one of the launch titles. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Claim the first at the end. Very good, Mr. Kiyatsu. <laughs> uh, thank you all for joining me. I'll see everybody later this evening. Have a safe and wonderful day and a good start to your weekend.